Hello everyone, welcome to Learn SMEs. In this lesson, we will learn the grammatical cases in SMEs. That means how to say in, on, at, of, from, to, etc. So let's start. In SMEs, grammatical cases are suffixes or endings that are added to nouns. For example, here I took the noun mon, mon means mind and the grammatical case suffixes which are uh, highlighted with red are added to the noun mon. Um, the first case is nominative and it has two endings or suffixes. First one is empty. Empty is marked by zero, cut zero here or cut O. And uh, the other or second one is A. A. A or E, A or E. Um, e when followed by A and O, otherwise it's A. In SME's alphabet, it, it's written with uh, A or Y or W, but it's always pronounced as A. Um, so, for example, Mur mone namane, Mur mone namane. My mind does not agree. My mind does not agree. More means my. Mone means mind. Na mane means does not agree. Here mone gets the a suffix um, because it works as a uh, subject. But if it's just a noun, if it's uh, like mind is mon in SMEs, but mind of gokhom yet mon bulikar. Mind is mon in SMEs, then it's uh, just mon, not money. But when it works as an uh, as a subject or agent, it gets the a suffix. More money na money. My mind does not agree. Second example, Rima yat khak pasoli bese. Rima yat khak pasoli bese means Rima sells vegetables here. Rima means Rima. Yat means here. Khak pasoli means vegetables. Bese means sells. Here Rima gets the E suffix because Rima does the work. She is the subject. So she get, uh, Rima gets the E suffix. Um, the E suffix is added because Rima ends with A. So A gets the E suffix. Rima yet hak pasoli bese. Rima sells vegetables here. But there is an excep uh, exception uh, for this um, second, uh, second ending for nominative case. It's when the verb is not transitive. That means the verb when the verb is intransitive. Uh, for example, Zuri bhayakar gharle gol. Zuri bhayakar gharle gol. Zuri went to her younger brother's house. Zuri went to her younger brother's house. Uh, the verb go or its past tense went is intransitive. So Zuri does not get the a suffix which, which would make, make it zuri but it does not get this suffix because za uh, or go uh, is the, is an intransitive verb some other intransitive verbs are a ah, ah means come mm, who who means sleep um huma huma means to enter etc we will learn about transitive and intransitive verbs when we are learning about um, verbs so here are these examples for the nominative case let's now move to the second case the first one nominative case does not have an equivalent in English but the second one accusative case has an equivalent which is to to I should tell a few more things about nominative case before moving to accusative. So let's get go back to nominative case. Here are the previous examples of nominative case I gave. Um, uh, let's talk about the empty ending. Uh, it's added when the verb is intransitive and also when the noun is just a noun. It does not work as a subject. For example, um, a to call, a to call, a to call means this is a banana. Here, call 
does not work as a subject but works as a uh, object so it's a noun and it does not get, uh, get any suffix that means it gets the empty suffix of nominative case a2 call this is a banana and for personal pronouns um, those without without plural suffixes moi toy ami to me apuni he tai teung do not get the a um, ending whether it's uh, a, a subject it does not matter if the noun uh, if the verb is transitive or intransitive they don't get the a suffix for example moi koru moi koru means i do so it's not like moi koru but but it's moi koru okay uh, if you know hindi or nepali etc languages uh, it's uh, the a suffix is similar to uh, ne suffix or le in nepali ne in hindi for example usne kiya usne kiya usne kiya or uh, or rima ne kiya rima did usne kiya he did so ne is added um, when the verb is transitive and when the verb is intransitive like wo gaya or rima gayi gayi then uh, he went or rima went then it does not get get the ne suffix so it's similar ne means but what's the difference is that in hindi it only gets the suffix in past tense but in s means it's it gets in all tenses in present tense like mone namane in past tense mone namani le in future tense mone namani bo always the a suffix is added so now let's go to accusative case so it's the second case accusative case here we are discussing the english equivalent is to to and uh, in uh, s means it's marked by again two endings one is empty and the other is ok or k. ok is added when the noun ends with a consonant like mon mon gets ok but when it ends with a vowel then it just get, gets the k. like a uh, uh, rima rima is a name so rima plus uh, ok is remark remark not rima ok but remark so accusative marks the object um, and in english it's two uh, some examples tak khudha tak khudha ta is the oblique form of he um, we discussed about personal pronouns and oblique forms those pronouns that have oblique forms get these suffixes these case suffixes with their oblique form so tak khudha means ask him khudha means ask tak means him ta gets the suffix tumi muk tiris uh, tumi muk tini khotoka disila tumi muk tini khotoka disila you gave me 300 rupees you gave me 300 rupees tumi muk tini khotoka disila here tumi means you muk gets the cause suffix muk means to me or me tini khotoka tini khotoka means 300 rupees disila means you gave tumi muk tini khotoka disila you gave me 300 rupees next example manu jonok yat bohiboloi kwa tell the man to sit here manu jonok yat bohiboloi kwa manu jon means uh, the man ok it gets the ok suffix manu janak to the man or tell to the man tell the man yat bohi boloi yat means here bohi boloi to sit kwa means tell manu janak yat bohi boloi kwa tell the man to sit here these are examples when the ok suffix is added but what uh, when the empty Accusative suffix is added. Let's learn. 
here are some examples for the NP accusative suffix. Moi sobia ki bhalpao. Moi sobia ki bhalpao. I like to draw pictures. I like to draw picture. Here sobi or picture is in accusative case because it's the subject but it does not get get the ox suffix because uh, so I forgot to tell you why this ox suffix uh, why this empty suffix is added or why the suffix is empty for accusative case um, it it is added with uh, nouns which are not animate that means which are not living and when the uh, when the noun is not very specific moi sobia ki bhalpao sobi is not animate so it does not get ok i like to draw pictures moi sobia ki bhalpao next example gosbor nakatiba gosbor nakatiba don't cut the trees gosbor means the trees nakatiba means don't cut gosbor uh, here um, actually in Assamese animate nouns uh, are more focused on humans so here gos is not a human so even if it's living uh, it does not get the ox suffix and also because it's not about uh, it's not about one or two or specific trees like that don't cut the trees like many trees not specific so gosbur nakariba does not get the ox suffix if it gets the ox suffix then it would be like gosburok gosburok but it does not because it's uh, not specific and also not animate or human sorry human also earlier people thought that uh, plants are not animate not living and SMS language works like uh, those earlier ideas. So next example, Kurai Biakonoloi Dhirmanomatise. Kurai Biakonoloi Dhirmanomatise. Uncle invited many people for the wedding. Kurai Biakonoloi Dhirmanomatise. Um, here, uh, which noun gets is in. Uh, Accusative case, it's Manu, Manu Matise. Invited people, invited people, people are invited. But since it's not specific, there are many people, so Manu does not get the ox suffix. Here, Kura means uncle, and Kura gets the E because it's, um, it's the subject, and Mat to invite is not intransitive, it's transitive. So kurai bia konole bia konole means to the uh, wedding bia means wedding manu means people matise means invited. So let's move to the next case. The next case is dative case dative case, and it's equivalent to English to towards for. Dative case is similar to accusative. Um, but it means like to towards for like a movement in um, Asmis there are two suffixes for it first one is ok the same suffix as accusative ok and ne uh, next one which is uh, associated with dative case is oloe oloe again since I uh, put the O under brackets because O is only added when the noun ends with a consonant otherwise uh, it's not added so some examples of the dative case before giving examples here are how mon looks like with the cases mon plus oc is monoc and mon plus oloi is monoloi Here are examples of dative case. First, the ox suffix. 
the org surface is very limited it's only a little bit few um, context for example muk pani glass dia muk pani glass dia give me a glass of water give me a glass of water muk pani glass dia here uh, muk gets the dative suffix because muk dia is like give me give for me like that so muk pani glass dia give me a glass of water muk means me pani means water a glass means a, gl a glass and dia means give um and the rest get the oloi suffix for example ami gharaloi goi asu ami gharaloi goi asu we are going home ami gharaloi goi asu here um gharaloi gets the oloi suffix because we are going to or towards our house so ami gharaloi goi asu we are going home or we are going to our house so it means a movement um, many people just skip the loi or loi or loi um, for example ami guwahati loi goi asu we are going to guwahati many people just say ami guwahati goi asu or uh, many also use the ot which is uh, originally the locative suffix like ami gharat goi asu ami gharat goi asu but in standard it's oloi ami gharaloi goi asu next example here uh, it means for the dative case means for juriye bhayakoloi kapur ejor kinisil juri bought a pair of clothes for her young, younger brother juriye bhayakoloi kapur ejor kinisil here bhayak gets the oloi suffix so bhayakoloi bhayak means um, her brother juri's brother um, and juri gets the nominative suffix kapur here it's accusative suffix so bhayakoloi gets the dative suffix for bhayakoloi for her brother juri e bhayakoloi kapur ejo kinisil juri brought a, bought a pair of clothes for her brother uh, kapur means cloth ejor means a pair kinisil means both now let's move to the next case which is terminative case terminative case the english equivalents are till or until and in smith it's marked by oloike 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 or sometimes as loi loi ejor um with mon plus oloike it's monoloike monoloike it means till the mind till the mind monoloike monoloike or uh, you can also say monoloi that's the dative so for uh, some examples here are examples of terminative case sorry that i am not giving the transliterations here so melakhon dubar loike bohibo melakhon dubar loike bohibo the fair will last till sunday the fair will last till sunday here till is loike dubar means sunday till sunday is dubar loike dubar loike dubar loike melakhon dubar loike bohibo mela means fair Con means the the fair. Dubar loike till Sunday. Bohibo means it literally means will sit. Bohibo will sit, but you can translate to will last. Tarpora yaloike batu boholibo. Tarpora yaloike batu boholibo. Tarpora means from there. Yaloike means to here or till here. Batu the road boholibo means will expand. The road will expand from there to here. Here, ya loike. Ya, ya is the oblique form of e. E also means like this. Ya loike to here. 
পাতটো ইয়ালৈ তাৰ পৰা ইয়ালৈকে বাটটো বহলি বহলিব দা ৰোড উইল এক্সপাণ্ড ফ্ৰম দেয়াৰ টু হিয়াৰ তুমি নহালৈকে মই বস্তুবোৰ কিনিলো তুমি নহালৈকে মই বস্তুবোৰ কিনিলো আই বাই দ্য গুডছ আনটিল ইউ ডোন্ট কাম আই বাই দ্য গুডছ আনটিল ইউ ডোন্ট কাম তুমি মিন্স ইউ নহালৈকে মিন্স আনটিল ইউ ডোন্ট কাম নহালৈকে নহা মিন্স নট কামিং লৈকে মিন্স আনটিল আনটিল ইউ ডোন্ট কাম মই আই বস্তুবোৰ বস্তু মিন্স থিং এণ্ড বস্তুবোৰ মিন্স বোৰ ইজ দ্য প্লোৱেল চাফিক্স চ' বস্তুবোৰ দ্য থিংছ অৰ দ্য গুডছ কিনিলো কিনিলো মিন্স আই বাই অৰ কিনো কিনিলো কিনিলো মিন্স আই বাই তুমি নহালৈকে মই বস্তুবোৰ কিনিলো আই বাই দ্য গুডছ আনটিল ইউ ডোন্ট কাম চ' দ্য নেক্সট কেছ ইজ ইনষ্ট্ৰুমেণ্টেল কেছ ইনষ্ট্ৰুমেণ্টেল কেছ ইন ইংলিছ দ্য ইকুৱেলেন্স আৰ বাই বাই এণ্ড উইথ বাই এণ্ড উইথ এণ্ড অলছ' থ্ৰু থ্ৰু বাই উইথ থ্ৰু এণ্ড ইন এছমিজ ইট ইজ মাৰ্ক বাই মোষ্টলি মাৰ্ক বাই ৰে অৰ এৰে ৰে হোৱেন when the noun ends with a vowel or an array when the nouns and noun ends with a consonant array with mon it's monere monere um by the mind or with the mind or through the mind um and it has a array has as an alternative form which is ad 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 is used by some people but array is the most standard form you can also use ad so um there is another ending for the instrumental case which is a or e e similar to the nominative e which is added after a and o so a is uh, a has a limited um usage so let's uh learn the learn their uses from the examples here are examples of intro- instrumental case moi samusare bhat khao i eat rice with spoons moi samusare bhat khao i eat rice with with spoons moi means i samusare by or with spoons samus means spoon ভাত মিন্স ৰাইচ খাও মিন্স আই ইট মই চামুচেৰে ভাত খাওঁ আই ইট ৰাইচ উইথ স্পুনছ বাই দ্য ৱে আই ডোন্ট ইট ৰাইচ উইথ স্পুনছ দিছ ইজ জাষ্ট এন এক্সাম্পল আমি নৈখন নাৱেৰে পাৰ কৰিছিলোঁ আমি নৈখন নাৱেৰে পাৰ কৰিছিলোঁ উই ক্ৰছ দ্য ৰিভাৰ উইথ এ বোট আমি মিন্স উই নৈখন নৈ মিন্স ৰিভাৰ খন দ্য ৰিভাৰ আমি নৈখন নাৱেৰে পাৰ কৰিছিলোঁ নাৱেৰে মিন্স বোট উইথ এ বোট নাও মিন্স বোট নাৱেৰে মিন্স উইথ এ বোট পাৰ মিন্স ক্ৰছ কৰিছিলোঁ মিন্স ডিড উই ক্ৰছ দ্য ৰিভাৰ উইথ এ বোট আমি নৈখন নাৱেৰে পাৰ কৰিছিলোঁ ইউ কেন অলছ' ইউজ এডি অল্টাৰনেটিভলি মই চামুচেদি ভাত খাওঁ আমি নৈখন নাৱেদি পাৰ কৰিছিলোঁ এণ্ড the a suffix is added when um, um the re or ad is re or ad suffix is more strong uh for more emphasis but when uh, it's not that strong meaning then you can add the a suffix ghar tu bahe khaja ghar tu bahe khaja the house is made with bamboos the house is made with bamboos bah means bamboo বাঁহে মিন্স উইথ বেম্বুজ ঘৰটো বাঁহে সজা ইউ কেন অলছ' ইউজ দ্য এৰে হিয়েৰ ঘৰটো বাহেৰে সজা চ' ঘৰটো বাঁহে সজা দ্য হাউচ ইজ মেইড উইথ বেম্বুজ দ্য নেক্সট কেচ ইজ জেনেটিভ কেচ এণ্ড দ্য ইকুইভেলেণ্ট ইংলিছ ইকুইভেলেণ্ট ইজ অফ অফ অৰ 
it's as a suffix and in SMEs the um, suffix is or or for example examples of the genitive case Tai Nam Rima Tai Nam Rima her name is Rima Tai means she Tai means her Nam means name Rima means Rima the name Gari Khanar Rong to Kola Gari Khanar Rong to Kola the color of the vehicle is black the color of the vehicle is black Gari Khan means the vehicle Gari means vehicle Gari Khan the vehicle and or means of or the color of the vehicle wrong to means the color kola means black gari khana wrong to kola the color of the vehicle is black the next and the last case we are discussing or the last case of SMEs is the locative case and the english equivalents are in on at in on at all are uh, locative in SMEs all are marked by the same ending the endings in SMEs are ot ot and also a or e similarly uh, similar to instrumental the a or e have limited uses and ot is mostly used some examples here are examples of the locative case deuta gharat nai deuta gharat nai father is not home father is not home deuta means father gharat means at home or in the house nai means not or uh, no or is not there deuta gharat nai father is not home or father is not in the house gharat means in the house mobile to table lot ase mobile to table lot ase the phone is on the table the phone is on the table mobile to mobile means phone mobile to the phone table lot table means table table lot means on the table ase ase means there or exists the phone is on the table. Mobile to table at ase. Ami humbare jam. So um, the ot is used in the first and second examples, gharat and table at. But the a has limited uses. It's uh, mainly used with uh, days of the week. For example, ami humbare jam. We will go on Monday. We will go on Monday. Ami we humbare humbar means monday humbare means on monday we will go on monday jam means we will go and the a suffix is also used when the noun is doubled for example hi banpani hua gawe gawe khua bostu bilaise hi banpani hua gawe gawe khua bostu bilaise he distributed food to the flooded villages he means he banpani means flood Banpani hua means flooded. Hua means happening. So Banpani hua flooded. Gawe gawe. Gaw means village. And gawe gawe means uh, two villages, two many villages, and or two or in uh, different villages. Kuabustu means food. Bilaise means uh, distributed. He Banpani hua gawe gawe. Kuabustu bilaise. He distributed food to the flooded villages so the usual suffix is ot or at when um, ends with a vowel and sometimes a is used mainly with days of the week and when the noun is doubled so these are all the cases in SMEs let's look at them again nominative mon or money accusative mon or monok dative monok or monoloi terminative monoloike instrumental monere genitive monor 
locative monot thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you